Yo, what's going on you guys? My name is Owen and welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing well. As you can tell from the title of today's video, this is going to be a little bit different than my normal type of content. Um, today's video is going to be my top 10 daily essentials or the 10 items I can't live without. Sort of a spin on the GQ series. I was talking with a lot of you on my Twitch stream and you guys were really interested in seeing some of my daily essential items, some clothing items, but also some of my non-clothing items. So here I am bringing that content for you. Before we get into the video, I'd really appreciate it if you could drop a like down below, share the video with a friend, um, subscribe to the channel if you are new, it helps me out a ton. I've got another video coming out very soon, so stay on the lookout for that. Um, yeah, let's hop right into the first item. First up for me is my headphones. I used to be an AirPods guy every day, um, except they're just not that comfortable. They fall out of my ear all the time. Noise cancellation wasn't great. Um, so I finally invested in a nice pair of headphones. So I picked up a pair of Bang & Olofsson headphones um, from the downtown store here in Boston. And I haven't looked back since. I think this particular pair is called the Bioplay HXs. Um, and I got them in the like black, dark gray colorway. Um, they're over the ear headphones, which I much prefer over the earbuds. Um, they're wireless, they're Bluetooth, so I can connect to my phone, my laptop, um, go about my day and I don't have to worry about anything getting in the way. They have great noise cancellation, so I just hit this little button right here and I can't hear anything going on around me that's that good. Um, and they've got cool like motion control stuff so I can kind of go hands off and keep working and whatnot. And yeah, when I have these on, I honestly feel like I'm in a movie theater. That's how good the sound quality is. Investing in good quality products that will last you a long time is totally worth it. So I splurged and I bought a pair of these. They've been such a great investment for me. Plus that case is really handy as well for traveling and whatnot. Um, yeah, let's move on to the next item. So the next item that I want to show you guys is sort of a teaser for an upcoming release for my brand Somar. I know I've been quiet on the brand for a while now. Um, but everything's sort of building up, production's wrapping up on a lot of stuff. Uh, I've got two shoots this month, um, so everything is going to come out very soon, so uh, stay on the lookout for all that. Um, but this next item I've used every single day since I got it. Um, I'll show you the sample after, which is the actual one that I've been using, um, but first I want to showcase the two finished products that I haven't been able to touch yet. Because these are shoot samples, I haven't been able to use them, so that's why they're sparkly clean. These are called the Play-Doh bags. Um, they're made with this really beautiful nylon. We've got the black colorway, and we've got the white colorway right here. Um, the nylon is Nacone, which if you're familiar with nylon, is the same nylon that Prada uses. So it's a really luxury, high-end nylon, very, very expensive. Um, these are not cheap to make by any means. Um, and they've honestly been the best bag. I want to design a bag that I could use every single day, and I'm happy to say that I accomplished that goal of mine. But yeah, like I mentioned, these are shoot samples, so I haven't been able to use these specific ones yet. Just to go over some of the details, um, Nikone body, it's got the leather straps, it's got tons of construction stitching, it's got uh, rivet hardware to keep everything locked in place. It's a really, really strong bag. And then on the top, you guys can see it has a zipper closure right there with a tail on it, so the tail does not get lost. You don't have to go fishing for the other side to link up nicely. It's always connected, it's super secure. And then on the inside, there are three interior pockets. It's got one big zipper pocket and then two smaller pockets. So it can kind of fit everything that you could possibly want in a bag and still have some of your small items so they don't get lost. Also on one side, it does have the metal Somar logo. See on the other side right there, it's plain. Um, it's a really, really beautiful bag. I'm super stoked to release this bag for you guys. Um, it should be coming out really soon, so keep your eyes out for that. Also, you guys can see it has tons of construction stitching going around, so it creates this like box shape to the bag. Um, these are both filled so you can kind of see that shape a little bit better. And then this is the sample that I've been rocking for the past four months. Um, not much has changed since the sample. Um, you might be able to tell there's no metal logo on this one. Both sides are plain. And then also the zipper closure is a little bit different on this one. It felt like the zipper could be even nicer so we changed that out. Changed the uh, tape as well or the webbing I mean. Um, but yeah, you guys can see some of the interior pockets right there. Two smaller ones and then one big zipper pocket. It's such a great bag. This one's been dirtied up quite a bit, tons of stains. Uh, it's traveled the world with me uh, and yeah, it's been great. That's what it looks like on shoulder in case you are wondering. It fits everything you need if you're just going out for the day or if you're going on like a long weekend trip. You can fit a ton of clothes, your laptop, all that good stuff in here and it'd get the job done. Um, so yeah, look out for that very soon. So the next item that I want to talk about is my go-to knife. Um, this particular one right here is my Spyderco Paramilitary 2, I think it's called. 
Um, I've had it for a couple years now. It's a fantastic knife. That's what the blade shape looks like. Spyderco is a well-known knife maker. Um, they make quality product, tons of styles. Um, pretty affordable too in the grand scheme of things in the knife game. Um, and it has this clip as well. So I can kind of clip it onto the inside of my jeans. I don't have to worry about it falling out or getting lost. It's always safe and secure on me. This is one of those items that will always be on me. Comes in handy way more often than you'd think. Um, so yeah, that's my knife. So this next one is arguably the one I'm most excited to share with you guys. Um, if you don't already know, I've been vegan from a dietary standpoint for about, uh, I think three months now. Um, and I've been working out regularly, trying to stay healthy. And an important part of building muscle is getting enough protein in your body. And when you consume only vegan products, it's hard to get enough protein in your body because when you eliminate being able to eat meat, that's just like a huge source of protein that's just instantly gone from your diet. Um, so I was on the hunt for the best vegan protein shakes out there. After finding out that the ones I was drinking had super harmful chemicals in them, um, I did a bit of research and I discovered this brand called Owen, funny enough. Um, Owen spelled differently, stands for only what you need. Owen is a plant-based protein company, so they make their own protein powder and protein shakes. They avoid all of the major allergens, um, fish, soy, wheat, um, nuts. There's no cross-contamination with any of that stuff. I'd been using this product for a few weeks. Um, I had a bunch of cases. I was trying out all the different flavors. And I figured, you know what? I'm gonna shoot my shot. I'm gonna reach out to them and see if they'd be interested in sponsoring a video or sponsoring some content or something. Didn't expect to get a response at all, but sure enough, they replied and they said yes. Um, sent over a bunch of free product for me to try out. Um, they also gave me a discount code too for you guys to use in case you want to try it out. Um, the code is OWNH20. I'll have it on the screen right here. I have it linked down below. Um, my recommendation in case you were interested in trying these out is to go to their website and use the code there. You can get these on Amazon, uh, except you won't get their subscription discount and also you can't use my code on there. Full disclosure, if you do use my code, I get a little kickback, I get more free shakes. Um, so it's a win, win, win for everybody involved, I guess. To talk about the product a little bit, um, they have two different variations that they mainly sell. They have their 20 gram shakes and then they have their 35 gram shakes. Generally, I drink two of these a day. I'll use this one for my post-workout and I use this one in the afternoon to get my coffee in me. Um, this one is the cold brew coffee. It has caffeine in it, which is fantastic. Um, then the 35 gram protein, obviously a lot more protein there. They use their own protein powder blend. Um, which is primarily pea protein and pumpkin seed protein. It's all natural ingredients, it's so good for you. Um, I highly recommend trying out these flavors I have right here. For the 35, I've got the chocolate. This other 35 is peanut butter cup with no nuts, by the way. And then for the 20 gram, I prefer the coffee, the cold brew coffee. Um, there's a couple other ones I love as well, but these are just the three that I picked out to show you guys. Even if you're not vegan, I recommend trying these out. Um, it's important to get enough protein in your diet on a daily basis. Um, some of my friends who want to try out some protein shakes, I told them about this. Um, they hopped on it as well. They live by it just as much as I do. So yeah, I'm super stoked to be working with them. I'm gonna be pushing them so hard. It'd be so sick to have my own flavor one day. Imagine an Owen flavored Owen protein shake. That'd be mind blowing. Um, so we gotta make that happen. <laughs> so this next product, full disclosure, I actually haven't owned for very long, but since I have bought them, they just haven't come off. <clears throat> and it is this pair of Capital Mud Dyed Century Jeans. Um, I think these released earlier this year. I had no idea they released because I just didn't see any pairs for sale ever. Then one finally popped up in my size. And I picked it up so quick, didn't even send an offer. And yeah, in case you didn't know about the Century Jeans, it's a lightweight denim fabric. Uh, that's then put through this crazy embroidery process which gives it like this pinstripe look. And then the fabric is cut into the pattern of the jeans, sewn together, um, it's a straight leg fit, and the embroidery makes the jeans way more stiff and rigid than the actual 12 ounce denim. So it's really strong and really sturdy, heavy duty stuff. When I first got these, they're extremely stiff. Um, it's like hard to like bend down and everything with these jeans, but now that I've worn them quite a bit, they're breaking in nicely. Um, I sleep in these sometimes just to break them in even more. I've probably slept in them maybe like five or six times. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what they look like in a few years after a ton of wear. Uh, eventually I will put them through a wash so then they um, kind of like mold to my body a little bit more. But yeah, Century Jeans, they're a fantastic model. Um, the back has this little clasp right here. Got the black suede capital patch. Um, yeah, black colorway, it's fantastic. It goes with everything. I still do have my brown pair right there. 
um, but the black pair is obviously way more wearable for me. Goes with every outfit pretty much. Um, and then a and the cool little bonus when I bought these is that I got this little capital booklet talking about the mud dyed century process. Um, yeah, it just breaks down how they extract the dye and how they use it on the denim. Uh, it was a fun little read and uh, yeah, it was a nice little bonus to get with the jeans, I guess. So next up, leave the house without me and it is my notebook. Every little idea that I have, every little sketch that I want to do, um, when I have something that I don't want to forget later on, everything will get written down in this book. Um, it's been game changing to have something I can write by hand in instead of just typing on the phone. It doesn't feel natural just type all day, um, but when you use a pen and paper, your brain's way more creative, ideas flow a lot better. Um, the one that I have right here is just a little moleskin. Um, I think having something that's pocket size is great because you can kind of carry it with you. And then I also use this little Muji pen, Muji pens 0.5 the best there is. Um, it's a flex to have a Muji pen because they're just the best out there. Yeah, whenever I have an idea for my brand that I want to draw out or some details I want to write down or like a YouTube video idea or anything, anything that pops in my head, it's in here. Um, so get a little notebook if you don't already have one. So the next essential for me is my water bottle. Um, the one that I have right here is just a black Hydro Flask. You guys know Hydro Flask, nothing special about it. Um, but people do not drink enough water these days. It's good to stay hydrated. It's so good for your skin. It's like the single-handed most important thing you could do for your body is drink enough water. I drink about four or five of these a day. Uh, every time I run out, I just fill it right back up. And yeah, it's important to stay hydrated. Don't leave the house without it. And make sure you clean it out regularly. That's important too. So another essential for me that I use on a daily basis is my skincare routine. Um, my skin is awful. I've had horrible skin since high school. Uh, I used to be on this prescription skincare routine. Um, that didn't really work out for me. But this past year, I discovered The Ordinary, or actually I was told about The Ordinary. Um, decided to give them a try. I filled in my information, told them about my current skin condition, what I wanted it to look like. And then they get back to you with a product regimen that they recommend you try out. And so I did their little tester kit type thing that lasts you about a month. And my skin improved so much in that month. It's kind of mind blowing. Um, and now I'm onto the big boy products. You guys can see here, these are the much bigger non-tester kit stuff. Um, and I've been using them for, I don't know, like nine months now and it's been so great. I use four of these five products in the morning and then all five at night before I go to sleep. If you haven't found a good skincare routine, I recommend trying them out, seeing if it's a good fit for you because they have that test kit situation. Um, I think the whole like test kit is like 25-ish dollars, so it's super affordable. So next up, I wanna talk about hats. Currently, I'm growing out my hair, so I wear a hat every day because I'm in that growth stage. Um, but I have a small hat rotation that I usually rock every day. Um, if it's not this plain black beanie, it'll either be this Jacob Hetzer dark cap, which I think he released last year. He sent one over, fantastic hat. Um, it was great for the summer because of that uh, ventilation on the backside. Um, the paneling is beautiful. I think it's like 11-ish panels if I had to guess. Um, it's got the Jacob Hetzer signature on the side. It's like chain stitched on. Um, it's so easy to throw on because it's black. It's sort of got that uniform look to it. No significant branding. Um, so that's been great. And then something I picked up while I was on my cross-country road trip. Um, we stopped through Cheyenne, Wyoming for a night and I ended up grabbing a Stetson, which is the best cowboy hat brand out there. Um, and the specific one that I got is the Skyliner 6X in this black fur felt. I didn't know I needed a cowboy hat until I tried this one on. Um, just fit me, I knew I had to have it. So yeah, this has been key for me and I'm excited to wear it more throughout my lifetime. Um, this is sort of like the best of the best. It doesn't get better than Stetson, so um, I went top of the line right away, but yeah. That's my cowboy hat. Let's move on to the last essential. So last but not least, we have my boots. You guys know that I'm not much of a sneaker guy these days. Um, I usually rock boots every single day. The boots I wear most frequently would be these from Guidi. These are called the 795Vs. Um, the V standing for Vibram, so it has a Vibram chunky sole on the bottom. Um, I think I got these in January of this year. So they've traveled the world with me. Um, they've molded perfectly to my foot and they're just so comfortable now. The specific leather that I have here is full horse grain. Um, it feels amazing, has a great hand feel. Until my combat boots come out either later this year or early next year, 
I'm gonna be rocking these, except mine are shaping up to be way better than these. Um, and they're way more affordable too, which is a big plus because these were not affordable by any means. Um, but yeah, these are my go-to combat boots. I have a lot of boots in my selection, but I always find myself gravitating towards these because they're so easy to wear. It's just go with anything, so yeah, that is my go-to boot. And I think that's gonna do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Drop a like down below, share the video with a friend, uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps me out so much. I've got another video coming out very soon. The long anticipated updated shoe collection video is coming out soon, so keep your eyes out for that. And yeah, I appreciate you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time.